So we're going to say all these wonderful things. Work with us. We're all better together. Fantastic. It's all great. It takes time to integrate. All our products are designed to integrate, but it takes time. Siloed approach. Get one product working first. Move on to the next. Get the next one working. Move on to the next. But always be aware of your end goal, where you're going. Okay? Don't do the orchestration bit until you have these bits working correctly. It just will waste your time. And you will get angry. And you'll come back and get that guy, blah, 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 blah told me, and I'm gonna next and I'm gonna heckle him the next time he's presenting in Microsoft. Or I see him in a customer. Take it as a siloed approach. It's great to have a service model. It's great to have self-service. It's great for people to be able to do these things on their own. Isn't it really cool if you have kids when they start dressing themselves and you just kind of go, grand, I don't have to do that anymore. It's fantastic. Or they can feed themselves. You don't have to sit there for hours going, please eat the food, please eat the food. They can just take it and shove it into their mouth. It's great. It's self-service. <laughs> All you do is put an application catalog. There you go. There's munchies. Off you go. Occasional operations, you know, the camera. You get. One of the guys, Anders ben Benstein, uh, who did the, the best practices in the run book, actually has a video camera in his son's bedroom. And he monitors it for when the duty comes out. He's got a motion center, so if the, the suitor comes out of him out, that he gets a, a text message to his phone so he can go in and put the suitor back in <laughs> before he wakes up. Not a word of a lie. I have seen it. <laughs> and it scared me. So I'm not saying using that type of stuff for that, but it's, 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 a, it's an interesting application to <laughs> the actual products. It just goes to show how, 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 how dedicated some of our guys are, you know? So do we agree on standardization? I'm not really agreeing on self-service, but it's a great idea if your environment will allow and your applications will actually span to that point. Let's face it, at some point in the next few years, people are going to have to rewrite the applications and rethink about how they're going to be deployed. It's as simple as that. The sooner we get into the mentality of actually you're going to have to do something like this, Mr. Mr. Customer or Mr. Business, the better. But if you don't start planting the seed now saying, we really need to do this. Now a lot of applications will deploy out of things and, 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 and can be packaged up pretty easily. When, when the developers will actually start thinking about it, they can do it. So just have to work with it. And then the golden goose is automation. So there's a lot of little bits of automation you can do. And I do suggest you check out the Building Clouds blog because there's a guy on there called Charles Joy. He has done some absolutely crazy stuff in terms of automation. Um, and he, what he's, what's great about it is he publishes all his room books. So they're all there for you to take and use in your own environment and do what you want. And you can figure out the basics of Orchestrator in a couple of minutes by just looking at the stuff. So Charles Joy is very, very good. Um, other orchestration scenarios, just to kind of show, so let's forget about the, put it this way, if you have to do it more than once, it's worth automating. You can execute, so I'll give, I'll give you the best practical example of, uh, that I can do. So in, in, in Microsoft Premier Support Services, we have a thing called proactive programs where we go in and we develop out a solution, we work with Ops Manager, and the idea is that the IT admin get a daily, they get the daily checklist for that service. Now, not for the environment, for the service. So let's take, for example, link. So link, lots of things you need to check, networks, blah, 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 so on and so forth, telephone lines. If you have to go in and check on, on, a, on a form, or even if you have to tick it on a form or go onto a SharePoint site to update to say, I've done this check, I've done this check, that takes time. Time is money. Yep. The guy was very clever about it, very manual effort, wrote a PowerShell script. PowerShell script completely tests the system from end to end. Takes about 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Does all the checks, updates the central dashboard with all the ticks, and then he updates a web portal so his boss can actually go on, has the web portal sitting up on the screen, so every few minutes it refreshes, and it gets the status of the link environment. Taking a very manual task and converting it into something easier. For them to provision a user into to link, takes them about 35 minutes because of the complicated nature of how they have to do things. We've developed run books in sort of side of Orchestrator, which they can do in a couple of minutes because the user will log on to a web portal themselves, serve service requests and say, I want to be a link user. And it will go off and pull out a number out of a database and do all those bits and pieces, provision them in link and then provision them in exchange, and then send them an email to say that they're already, they're, they're provisioned with all the details. So taking a large, long process down to a couple of minutes in a background kind of automation task where you don't have to worry about it. 
So things like this make sense. Like you can you could probably think of a hundred different admin scenarios that you guys do that you would love to just speed up and automate. If you don't want to do it in Orchestrator, start with PowerShell. Just do it in PowerShell. There is absolutely nothing you can't do in PowerShell apart from bake cakes. I'm sure you can even get it to kill someone if you really try. But don't. So just finally, uh, it's 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 we're coming to the last couple of slides. So we're going to sort of say, yes, better together, it integrates, but just, just out of the, like, just native integration across these bits and pieces, <coughs> stuff that you can do. And really take into account the fact that third party tools are not a problem. Remember, Orchestrator was a palace, so palace was non Microsoft before, obviously, before we bought it, and it integrated into bloody everything. It had management packs for everything. <coughs> Linux, don't care, we'll do a Telnet or we'll do an SSH session too. Fantastic. Switches, great, come on, let's log into Cisco, download the, uh, the configs of the switches so that we have them on a daily basis so if someone does screw up, we have them. Or download the iOS on the switches because uh, always when you get a replacement from Cisco, they never put the right bloody build on. Things like this, that's all possible. Third party admin tools like HP OpenView or CA or things like that, fantastic, do the integration. Has a REST API, even better, let's go for it. You can do it, it's not a challenge. It's research that you have to do, it's a little bit of time you have to put in, absolutely, it's not, it's not easy all the time, but it can be done. And that's the point I'm trying to get at. So IT has just gone bananas with all this web-based stuff that you can log into, web, web, you know, these REST APIs and do all sorts of wonderful stuff in it. All the different integration packs, third party and above, that are available. I mean, F5 integration packs, VMware, local security, exchange stuff, SharePoint. I'm sure there's something there you can think of and you kind of go, ooh, I have some things in like that I have to do that are very manual and are a pain to do. Let's orchestrate them, let's automate them. It takes time, it takes a learning curve, absolutely. Uh, and depending on, unfortunately, the person involved, you, it will vary greatly, you know. Some people will pick it up overnight and some people will struggle to pick it up. If you struggle to pick it up, give it to someone else who might be naturally adapted to this type of uh, framework of, because it is changing your mindset to a developer type mindset. You take an input, you have an output, and you have to work with it that way. And sometimes you have to code in PowerShell, sometimes you can code in C Sharp if you really want it. Or if you have legacy VB scripts that do a lot of things, you can pull them into the system as well. So reuse a lot of work that you might already have done. Loads of integration packs, and I suppose just if you look at IBM Netcool, VM vSphere, Active Directory, HPILO, just, just pretty much it doesn't matter. If you can interface with it via like a standard web API, we can get to it. If you have Telnet, we can get to it. If you have SSH, you can get to it. If you have all sorts of weird admin protocols, you can bloody write one yourself and actually get to it if you know, if you know enough C Sharp. Or the chances are you can put a request on Codeplex and you'll find someone who's already done it. And we'll give you the, give you the, the bits and pieces for free. It's a cool community. Um, to be part of. One of the things that you just, even if you're looking at it, is the cloud, cloud services process pack. That has a bunch of run books in it as well for your own kind of benefit and have a look. You know, it's the golden, it is, it is the golden goose. It's a challenge. I do realize that. I said it mightn't be for everyone, but you know, if you're doing basic, if you're an IT admin, if you're an IT pro, if you're servicing customers, at least look at PowerShell and write PowerShell as tools. So take the time to variableize them, take the time to put them into functions, take the time to do those bits and pieces so you can use that PowerShell script over and over and over again. And then when you're ready, build error control logic into those bits and pieces. <laughs>